Hi everyone, it's Christy Funk from ChristyFunk.com and your Eco Beauty Stylist. I know that the rage is those eyelash extensions and I do agree that eyelashes and and eye makeup really make the eyes pop and how can you do it in a way that looks natural and I'm not a big fan of those extensions because no matter how natural they look I still can always tell they look it looks like fur on eyelashes I don't know it's kind of kind of weird to me so I just want to teach you how to use a regular mascara wand and get those eyelashes that make your eyes pop without looking like you're wearing anything that isn't yours. Christy Coleman had done this really fantastic um, blog post on her website. She's an eco beauty makeup artist and the creative director um, at Beauty Counter, someone who I admire who's completely switched over her kit. She does a lot of celebrity and uh, editorial and she is one of the first in the country to switch to an all green kit. So I loved the tutorial because it was how to get a mascara look without a mask without using mascara. And it was really just about moisturizing the eyes and using um, some oil on the on the eyelashes and, and it was just beautiful. So the more natural the better. But for those of us that want a little pop from our mascara, um, I've got a few mascaras in my hands. I I love the 100% pure mascara. I don't have one. I haven't had that in a while. But that mascara, when I had in my store, was so funny because I called it the Hooker mascara. Um, I could not believe the lashes that I got from that mascara. It was just like, whoa. And in my store, I, I dubbed it as the Hooker mascara. And so everybody knew it. It's, they actually thought it was the name of the mascara. And one time, this is a funny story, and then we'll start doing the eyelashes. But this man came into the store and it was around Christmas time and my store was packed and he he was standing in the doorway and he he's like um, my wife sent me here to get the hooker mascara and we all looked at him and we're just cracking up because um, that's actually not the name of the mascara it's hundred percent pure but that mascara is really fantastic you just have to buy it online so um, I have a few. I also really love Color Caramel. It's a um, Parisian line. Super fantastic also. and But once again, hard to find. They've got a great wand. Everything's about a good. You just really want to get a good wand. So, um, and then there's brands that are not so hot that have really great um, eco beauty lines, but their mascaras stink and they smear all over. So you want to make sure that when you get a mascara that you're getting something that is um, that's actually going to stay. So I will be shopping all of the lines and picking my favorites. What I do really appreciate is the Physician's Formula because you can get them at Target and um, some grocery stores too. They're about eight or nine dollars and they have different formulas and I'll just get whatever is available. And it doesn't really matter to me as long as I can work the brush, and that's what this tutorial is about. So this is just their basic um, in the leaf tube, and that is their wand. And the formula doesn't really smear, and it's um, it stays on pretty. It's a little bit drier, which is good. And then this is their silver one, and I don't know which one, what this does exactly, but... Like I said, I don't really pay attention to what they're, I just grab them. And this is a curved wand with really thin, um, little, like a brush. Their pink one. And this is their big chubby brush. So no matter which brush you're using, what you want to always start off with is you want to make sure that you're curling your lashes. Mm, the number one thing that we should be doing that's really going to open up our lashes and you're going to curl it close to the lash line and then a little bit out. And it's going to open up the eyes. Um, I love Shuamora's lash curler and I don't know, I don't think, I think they're hard to find now. Um, but definitely get something at Sephora. Don't get the ones at the drugstore. They're junky. So when you take the brush, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to take the brush from the lash line, like deep where the lashes go into that water line, and you're going to wiggle it up, and you're just going to really work that brush and move the lashes up 
taking the tip of it and going in there individually and getting this like beautiful fan look. And then this is where you're going to open the eye by taking the lash, the brushes and working that outer corner and lifting it up and winging it out. And I like to blink. I know this must look so stupid on here and blink and get in there and just build that lash and get in there all the way up. And if you get clumps, please, please, please use a, a comb. I barely do my under lashes just because it, it drags the eye down and it creates darkness where I want to keep it light. I'm 46. So I don't want to be dark under there. And you're going to take that brush and just lightly do that. It's all about the top lashes. It's all about mm -hmm. getting, see, you can already see, and this is kind of a crappy camera, but um, you can already see that building with just with a brush. And I want to show you that you can do the same thing with any brush. So this is a, a big chubby one. You're going to do the same thing, and you're going to start with a base and get that nice and thick. And then you're going to work it. You're going to work the tip. I would say that that tip of the brush is probably the most useful because you can get in there and do anything just with working it and lifting it. And it's almost like you're painting. Makeup is just about painting. So it's about using your tools and really just um, accent, you know, it, giving accents to the places that are um, your best features and then you're going to take it down under there and then always just it's like you're almost going into that corner on the outside you want the lashes to go out and up these to go up and the corners up like at this angle so it's really lifting the eye if you're just putting your lashes on like this, your uh, mascara on like this, you're not getting that wide-eyed open look and you're not getting that beautiful kind of like cat look because no matter what your shape is, you want that open look on your, on your lashes. So work your brushes, work whatever mascara that you use. Please, please, please go for an eco one. You don't want all those heavy metals going into your, eyes and messing your whole system up so just work that brush get an eyelash curler and work that brush and you'll see a difference um, and it also will stay so if you have lashes that tend to fall when you curl them it it keeps them staying longer um, and the mascara keeping it up like this keeps those eyes open and super sexy and fresh so there's your mascara tutorial and i will be shopping mascaras if you have any favorite mascaras eco mascaras that you love just post them on the replies on the comments below i'd love to um, see what else is out there visit me at christyfunk.com and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you